This is video one for Essential Elements book number two, okay? So you need to have this book out on your stand, the one that's purple on the top. It needs to say for your instrument, I have to be holding a viola book, but whatever your instrument is, make sure it has that instrument. It says book two, and it looks like this. It might not have the 2000 written there. Most likely it does not. This is kind of an older book. These are both kind of older books. Yours is probably does not say 2000 anymore, but it's gonna be, other than that, it's gonna be the same, okay? so. Uh, much of the first part of this book is review, so we're going to actually start on page number nine. The only thing that's new in the first eight pages um, are some dynamic things that I'm going to be teaching in a different way through some of the orchestra music that you're going to learn. Um, other than that, there's really nothing brand new. So we're going to start on page number nine. Also, we're going to learn this book in a very strange order. I'm going to teach you all of the rhythm stuff first and then we'll go back and learn the new key signatures and the new kinds of notes that you're gonna to have to learn in book two. Okay, so a bunch of rhythm stuff first. So most of these first videos are gonna be just, gonna be for all the instruments, violin, viola, cello, and bass, because rhythms can be done in any instruments. What I've done up here is I've put our most basic rhythm up here. Just four, four time, four chord notes, chord note gets a beat, just one, two, three, four. It's the first rhythm you ever play. Now, notice I've put these fraction tiles down here too. Okay, so the red ones are for one whole beat, and then this gets half a beat. Remember, two halves make a whole, right? So, just like two eighth notes make a quarter note, two halves a beat make one whole beat. The quarter note gets the number and the tay, an eighth note gets a number or a tay. You've heard me say that, and you're going to hear me say it again. A quarter note needs to, you need to play through both the one and the tay click. And I want you just to play that with me right now. I'm not, now it seems silly. It's like, why am I playing four chord notes? I've been playing my instrument for a while now. Why am I playing four chord notes? Just trust me on this. I want you to really listen to the metronome and make sure, playing on open D, <clears throat> that you're playing through both clicks and not stopping your boat, okay? Not cutting it short. Just echo me in this. Three, day and one, day, two, two, te, three, te, four, te. Play through both clicks. Now do one measure of eighth notes. Echo me. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te. Now you should have used half a bow for those eighth notes, right? So what we're going to do now, we haven't seen eighth notes by themselves yet. You're about to. An eighth note by itself looks like this. Or, if the stem is going down, the flag goes up. You've probably seen notes like go like this before. If the stick goes up, goes up, the little flag goes down. Regardless, the flag always goes to the right. Well, this is only half a beat now. So what I need to have here, I need to have an eighth rest. Or another eighth note, but since we're learning eighth notes by themselves, eighth note, eighth rest. So I'm going to do the same thing for the whole line. Okay? Now, when you're playing these, it's important to remember the eighth note only gets half a beat. It gets no more, no less. So this eighth note happens on beat one. This eighth rest happens on the te. I'm taking these out so you can see exactly where you're not supposed to be playing. You're supposed to be playing through that part of the beat, but not that part. Play through this part for the eighth note, resting on that part. Play through this part for that eighth note, resting on the tay of beat three. Playing through the first half of the beat, beat four, resting on the tay. Okay? Now I want you to play that, or echo me. And we turn our metronome back on. My metronome's at 60, by the way. I have the eighth notes clicking on purpose. Definitely want eighth notes clicking. If you don't have eighth notes, set it to 120. Okay? Or you're just playing along with this video. So I'm going to play on one, I'm going to rest on tay. I'm going to play on two, I'm going to rest on tay. Okay? Just echo this. One measure of quarter notes again, where you play through both clicks. With me, red say and go. One day, two day, three day, four day. Now do a measure eighth note, eighth rest. Just what I have here. Okay. Now here's the thing: you don't do this. That's too short. It's got to be one stop, two stop, three stop, four stop. You're stopped on the tays, but not before that. Okay. Don't make them too long either. Okay. 
Play with me. Eighth note, eighth rest. One, two, and go. Stop. 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 Now you might notice that these sound just like staccato quarter notes. Yeah, they do. So why can't we just have staccato quarter notes? Well, staccato is a little bit more ambiguous, meaning it can be a little bit longer, it can be a little bit shorter. For now, I want all your staccato chord notes to be just like this. Half a beat of sound, half a beat of silence. Just like this, okay? Staccato chord notes, little gray area. Eventually you'll be able, oh, what, you know, some, some teacher or conductor or you might decide, I want it to be even shorter than that. Or I want it to be a little bit longer than half a beat. This is exactly half a beat of sound, half a beat of silence. All right, now let's move to your book. And I want you to shadow bone number 30 shadow bow number 30, and be very, very particular about when you stop your note. Stop it exactly when I stop my bow. One, two, 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 thirty, and go. One, two, 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 Play that with me now. And one, two, 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 red, two, and go. One, two, 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 three, two, three, two, four, 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 and your eighth note, eighth rest. One click, resting on second one. Okay, now go on to 31. Again, chord notes, get the number and the te. Eighth note gets a number or a te. Eighth note or eighth rest, now that we know eighth rest. Eighth note, eighth rest, get a number or the te. Okay, shadow bow 31. We're in D major, we're gonna be in D major for a long time. For all these rhythms, we're gonna be in D major. Shadow bow 31. And a one te shadow bow. <laughs> Be very careful in measure three. Play 31. Uh, one, two, red, two, go. One, two, two, two. practice that one more to get it perfect. Normally, if you were in a classroom setting with me, we'd probably have to play measure three and four over many, many times because people would play those eighth notes too long. And the last note, they would play it too long also. Make sure that last note is three, te, stop. Be very picky with, with yourself. This is going to help you when your rhythms get more and more complicated, okay? Going to 32. Now you're going to notice something about 32. As I mentioned before, for now, your staccato chord notes, I want them to sound half a beat of sound, half a beat of silence. Staccato chord notes are gonna sound just like that. So if you look at 32, every single note's gonna have the same length, exact same length, okay? Why is staccato chord note different? Remember, staccato chord notes, staccatos can be a little bit variation. Eighth note, eighth rest, no variation. But for now, no variation on the, on the staccato chord notes. I want them to sound exactly the same. Shadow bow 32. Um, with repeat and a one te shadow bow. Te te one te two te three te four te one te two te three te four te one te two te te lift repeat. Te two te three te four te one te two te three te four te. At the end, you should hear te four te. You should hear three clicks because you're resting on the second half of beat three and you're resting all beat four. Play that with me now. Remember, don't use more bow. Don't do that. Okay, it's gonna make it sound bad. I will play from here to here. Since every note only gets half a bow, take your half out of the middle. Don't play the frog in the tip. Play from here to here. 32 and uh, one te, red te, go. One te, two te, three te, four te, one te. Te, four, 
te, 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 lift, repeat. Te, 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 Now not too long, careful. Te, for, te. Hopefully you weren't playing when I said te, for, te, okay? Be really picky about those because your rhythms are about to get a little bit more complicated and you've got to make sure that your eighth note, eighth rest is super accurate. You're not rushing, you're not dragging, you're exactly with your metronome. You're playing for that first click for an eighth note and then resting on the second click when you have the eighth rest after that, okay? Practice those getting really good so be ready for your next video.